Wow. <laughs> Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel and to the marvelous woman on the go, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> I always try to mimic you, but I never know what you're going to say in your intro. I never know. Mystery so girl. Sometimes I get it wrong, and sometimes maybe. I get it right. Oh, well, today we've kind of been a little bit delirious from our oh, filming. So I, yeah. was, I was actually going to say, like, 1984's best dressed Lesbian. woman on the go. Yeah. But no. Apparently not today because my brain was just like, sorry girls, I'm leaving. <laughs> but talking about the 80s, today, my love, this we have a surprise for you. Pete Burns is from the 80s. No, no, but the show isn't. No, the show isn't no, from the 80s, but he's an 80s icon. Yeah, yeah. So today we're going to be reacting to Pete's PA girl. And the PA stands for Prince Albert. It does, yes. No, actually in this case, it's personal assistant. Mm. So if you do not know who Pete Burns is, uh, leave. Leave. <laughs> Can you imagine? But for my like younger queer audience who's perhaps not familiar, Pete Burns was a punk gender fuck icon of the 1980s. You will know his band Dead or Alive and their very famous song. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming, girls. Knew it was coming. This show, uh, kind of gay, was uh, kind of gay. gay. It was kind of gay, just a little bit. This show was made after Pete Burns appeared on Celebrity Big Brother in the UK, which was kind of like reality TV. Well, if you don't know what Big Brother is, good luck. So Pete Burns, icon, didn't win Big Brother. Should have, in my opinion. Then went on to have like, a, I need to find a personal assistant for my career comeback style yeah. show, yeah. and that's what this is that we're watching today it aired on living tv which i don't think is a thing anymore i'm i don't i don't look at sky so i don't i don't know if like no idea shows. living tv is where all the reality tv shows were yeah from that sort of era yes, 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 yes. i think this is 2006 but i'm just gonna double check quickly she's got a degree oh it's 2007 oh, okay it's from 2007 so let's put on our what is that 16 years ago hats that's disgusting. Isn't that absolutely repugnant? Ooh, she's Hello. very close. I can't wait to see how you die. All new to living, it's Pete Burns's PA. Living TV. Oh, look, glamorous. Oh. Celebrity. Celebrity. Do you love feisty women? No. Ross dressing? Ross I, I love mischief. Oh, oh very No nice. chance. Kiss. So, oh my god, of course, Pete Burns maybe pioneered bloody lip fillers internationally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had so much lip fillers. In fact, he had an experimental plastic injected into his lips that his doctor made him just go, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, everyone's going to be doing it. And he had an incident, and we've reacted to that before. Ultimately, that's what killed him, really. Because yeah. that's what made him go through his, like, going back and forth surgeries yep, constantly. Yep, and then... yep. Unfortunately, he passed away on the dentist's table under anaesthetic. Can you believe it? R.I.P. to an absolute icon. Yeah. P.A. Oh no, copyright music. Copyright girls. He's an 80s icon who has certainly lived life to the full. Look at how Taking gorgeous. in huge chart success, celebrity big brother, and brushes with the law. Do you know what actually changed my life? quite a lot watching him on Big yeah. Brother. Because I was only 14 years old, not really understanding anything about androgyny or like gender fuck or anything, and being like, <gasps> wow. who is this person? Yeah. And then obviously being a little like faggot kid when I was younger, like not being able to express myself, suddenly seeing this person, I was like, ah! I could not believe it. Seeing such an androgynous icon that was also like, so he went to the gym, and was androgynous, which yeah. was like unheard of. It wasn't like a skinny rake twink, like, ah! <laughs> he was punk, like yeah. real attitude punk. Along the way. Now it's Pete's getting his life back in track right and is planning round. to marry his boyfriend Michael later this year. But a wedding needs organisation <laughs> and Pete's life is anything but organised. So the time of- It's anything but organised. Organized. Look at this cat paraphernalia. Yes. I've got a bucket of peace, sweetie. Oh, she's a mess. It's come for him to get some hired help and the hunt is on for his PA. Right. see Pete's PA. Hello, Pete. For Pete's. all the tea in China. Why was he on like everything oh, back in my the day? God. <laughs> we haven't seen her for no, a while, have we? Well, she's dead. She's dead now. But why did? Why was Pete Waterman on like everything? I don't know. But he, he was like, all the time back in the day. Wasn't he on one of those shows? He was on was Fame Academy, Pop Idol, Pop Idol, one of those what? Yeah, Pop Stars, The Rivals. Pop Star. There were so one many of them. Of them yeah. yeah, and then X Factor arose from. He the was ashes. one that he, he was one that had Jerry Halliwell as the judge as well, but yeah. I think that was one that had like. Um, I think that was Pop Stars, The Rivals. Asking if I'd like to work for him. I must be fucking joking. <laughs> oh, look who it is then. And the reason why. It's because he's just got this aura about him. It's a job from hell. It's a wig. Mm. If Pete offered me the job, I'd take it, definitely. 
The reason I think I need a PA is Well, they have to live each other. They live with each other in a house for, like, Can you imagine? Um, two months. Yeah. That was back when reality TV was, like, completely insane. The yeah. idea you could just be, like, plucked from your normal life and live in a house with strangers under torture conditions. Yeah. For months. Wild. The reason I think I need a PA is oh, I'm incredibly disorganised. And as time goes by, I'm becoming more and more aware how disorganised I am. But come on, we're in a rush. We're His life was chaotic. Let's all do it. He's tattooed. Well, what am I going to do? Forget the wig. What time's the... I feel like most people who got tattooed in the 80s, their stuff isn't that good anyway. I feel like it was all very experimental back then. They just kind of got, like, whatever they could rather yeah. than what they wanted. I agree, Shin Blinds. I'm going to forget the wig. I put dry cleaning and cleaners and forget which cleaners I put it in. They'll be stage clothes. I'll have people coming to repair something in the house and I'll, I'll forget to be there. I'll go out and I'll lose the keys. I, I lose Ooh. everything. Recently I lost my engagement ring and we couldn't find it anywhere. It was in the cat litter tray. I have a Persian cat and that cat's always got diarrhea. I'm so How did you lose composer. your wedding ring I feel a like cat litter tray? I feel like that's very, very, very... I don't know what's going on. Uh, the cat litter no, is everywhere. Uh, uh, I lost the dry cleaning. Yeah, uh, it's a bit first world problems, isn't it? You don't need to... Like, a PA is not going to be able to find your ring because yeah, your exactly, cat has yeah, diarrhea. Yeah. So prone to losing things, so prone to nearly setting the house on fire because I focus totally on the work, so real life house doesn't fire. exist for me on any level. Maybe Pete Burns had ADHD. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Realisations. It's a busy day in Pete's life. It's pretty much every day because it's a whole process My boyfriend sex of getting him. him from... Really? Yeah. Oh, you've had a Pete Burns scandal? Yeah. I met Pete Burns at a bus stop once in the, uh, after a nightclub. Yeah. Oh. And I was like, it's Pete Burns! And he was like, oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> Loved every second of it. Waking up and out the door. It starts before he wakes up. It's so weird how we have connections to these, like, obscure people. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It's really weird. You have to... He doesn't go on a clock. That's his ex-wife. the alarm clock. Why her eyebrows like that? Why her eyebrows like that? It's a good question. It's like, it was the 80s. <laughs> They're like dark triangles. They are. And you have to start with the coffee and, you know, coffee. Sort of coax him into the world. You? And then it's probably <laughs> two, it depends actually, one to two to three to five hours getting ready, depending on the event. He just really does zone into getting ready and he'll kind of. I do not know how Pete could do that makeup look and take five hours. Well, as, as he's doing it, he might be doing things in between. That's true. Like, That's what true. is his life? I don't think he's going to be running on a tight ship where it's like, you have to do it at this time because you're going to film a video for eight hours. That's very, very, very true. You horrible, horrible girl. Up, have a bath, put a bit more on, take oh. a bit off. Pixelation. Change the wig, change the outfit. That was cool three months ago. It looked like a lesbian. I'm not really in a Bambi mood either. No, no, no. 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 I love that his yeah. ex-wife is his stylist. That is fun, yeah. Come on, I need something to wear. Oh, it looks like one of Gary Glitter's cast-offs. No. He well, because he didn't, he, didn't actually, he didn't identify as gay, though, did he? It was no. like... He didn't identify as anything. No. He was just like, I like what I like, yeah. fuck you! Yeah. To get mirror lock, it'll take as long as he, he's allowed to, but it can be about an hour, an hour to two hours, if you're lucky. I take ages getting ready, but I use it to meditate. I, do. I, I actually hours. use the same time the to do that. Like it's not going to have discovery. the easiest job, and it's going to encompass so many different elements of my life. He needs a mother, a nanny, a secretary, a stylist, oh, a cleaner. Um, all in a PA a paid bank. minimum wage. Yeah. yeah. Surely he couldn't afford all that. Pete is heading to a secret location in London to interview potential PAs for the job. Ooh, oh, look at these 20 people. To together in a house in glamorous North London, and they'll compete over nine weeks to prove they have what it takes to nine become weeks. PA. So there's nine episodes. I'm not as bad as people think. Am I? <laughs> I love his style so much. I, I, as much as I love Pete Burns, I can imagine him being He's a fucking a nightmare. nightmare to be around. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm a business psychologist, I work in the city of London recruiting oh. captains of industry. Pete Burns could be my most demanding <laughs> client yet. Pete's acerbic, highly strung, and opinionated. He's not going to suffer fools gladly. I need to find a PA with a tough hide. What? Who is this man? Who well, also, have you seen the shots? They're like, um, 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 um. this man is a banker. He knows about here. banking. Here, 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 up here, here. here. <laughs> What's going on now? You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way. Assess the candidate's psychological oh, Isolation. Wheat from the chat. And celebrity PA, Donna Cooling. Who is Donna? This? Donna. All right, Donna. Having an insight to some amazing life. What are she doing leave. now? Of At dead. the moment, I work for Helena Bonham Carter, Rachel Vice, Helena Bonham Carter. No. The most important criteria when looking for a PA, um, to me, I think, is someone who's super organised. They organise yes. in their sleep. They have a good Lesbians sense of are very organised. I've never met a lesbian. 
accept your mistakes when they're not your mistakes. Accept. Um, you've you've got to cover accept. everything. You've got to be four steps ahead all the time. You've kind of got to know your client better than Being that. a PA sounds like a horrible job. I would hate horrible. it. I would hate it. I would hate to have to like work under someone else like that. No. And then be and like, then be like it's my Make fault. me a cup of coffee. It's wrong. Die. They know themselves. I don't think he needs a friend. I don't think he needs a fan. I think he's looking for someone to look I could not have a fan as no! a PA. Could you imagine? I thought she was lovely. I really, really liked her. The bird. This guy is a waste of time. Just get him out of here. I'd like to hear the sound of your head banging off the desk. And the slightly unusual potential. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> Die! Die! Individual PAs. So, what makes you think that I'd want a clapped out male stripper as my PA? And can you sit with your legs together, please? Because I find it absolutely nauseating that you're sitting there with your legs spread to show me you got big plums. As the interviewees prepare to can face me. Wow. Oh, yeah, he never yeah, shook her his words. He was no. always like. I remember watching interviews with him years ago, and he would like tell interviewers what a fucking stupid question. Yeah. People just. That was a like, fucking stupid I question. I love Why it. would you ask me that? I absolutely loved every moment of every interview. I've yeah. divulged. I div divulged? Digested every single piece of media that yeah. he was involved in. I also loved his book. He's just just really just did not give a fuck about anything. Well, 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 this was like an X Factor. <gasps> why why oh, is Mario there? Look at me listen. That. This was before he was on Big, Big Brother. Brother. Oh. Mario and his lady friend. What was she called? Lisa. Lisa. Scott so, yeah, lady. paratroopers. I've done that for eight years. Oh, if I'm adaptable, mature. This man could not <laughs> handle people. <laughs> Eaten alive. Dead. I'm very minded. I'm crass. I'm a big fag hag. I can only offer what I've got. Wow. <laughs> I can imagine saying that. Wow. Like, Why do you want this job? I'm, I'm a, a big good fag hag. hag. Disgusting. Stupid. I hope it's good enough. I've got some weird piercings I can show you. So, what advice do Pete's loved ones? So why would you, why would you be, be a, a good? Because I've got some, some piercings. Weird piercings. Yeah. piercings I'll show you, girl. Pussy hole. Yeah, what did that like? This is such a strange concept of a TV show because it's like, I feel like you're not actually looking for a PA, you're just doing this for a TV show. Yeah, like what, what is he going to need organised? The thing is, he wasn't doing tours, he wasn't releasing new mu music, he wasn't, like, what, 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 what was Pete Burns' job? Because at, at this point, he was very much like, leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, like, he was so like, I don't want fame. So the idea of being like, let's find a PA for my fame is ridiculous. But it's very Pete to be like, yeah, I don't yeah. need one, I want it's it. so funny, he's really witty, really intelligent but very firm. So, you know, whoever's going to do this job. Seeing all of this, so I didn't watch every episode of this when it was out. I remember being able to catch like little pieces of it, but I remember this was the first time I'd ever seen like lots of different types of androgynous people in one place on TV. Yeah. I was really gagged about it. Really gagged. Gagged. Go gagged. Go gagged. The pageant. Living all new. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Because what was I? I would have been, if you were 14, I would have been 16, 17 at this time. Incredible. She's old. She's an old lady. I mean, look at her. She's... Old. Be somebody that's really smart, somebody that's on the ball, somebody that's constantly on the toes, somebody that's going to be two steps ahead of Pete the whole on the way. Ball, on, on the ball, on the toes, toes. Really, really, really out. On the ball. Oh look, a ball pad. Mm -hmm. PA, I think mainly it's someone that just. I love that everyone well. in the show has villa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone's like, like plumped. I think that they really need gold. Just kind of got Pete. I mean, to live with, he can be quite demanding. Well, I was married to Pete for 25 years. We met when we were teenagers. I, and, whatever uh, they've done to her, I, like, uh, yeah, it looks look like she's been here, staples. Look at this bit here, it's like ripple, as if like she's like this. Yeah, I think maybe she is. Maybe that's just how she talks. She just is like, so when I was married, it's, I did this. It's really, it makes me feel strange. I'm like, are you shouting at us? Are yeah, you angry? it's a bit like, oh. Look of time. I it's vital that the PA is discreet. Oh dear. Because they will be working very closely with Pete. Pete wouldn't tolerate anything else from them. I, I, I love this like cut between sentences. Yeah, just zoom, zoom. Is, zoom. Oh, here we go. Transition to the same scene. Yeah. I don't know what that man said. I don't just think he's a down to earth type guy. <laughs> I hate that. Down to I earth. Hate that. Pete Burns is anything here. but down to earth. I think he's gonna go places. The PA needs to have. He's already been places. I, I think, think he's, he's gonna, gonna, I think he's gonna I go think, places. I think that, you Pete know, Burns is already an international superstar at yeah. this point. Nerves are steel. They can't burst into tears very easily. They can't really fight back with me because then I'll fight twice as hard. They've got to be able to cope with extreme situations. I don't want somebody who just thinks they know it all because I, I, I've got the right to change at any time. I'd like so, to what do you want a PA for? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure a punching bag. Yeah. Psychic sunglasses that shield me from the glare of the Ooh. job that I'm in. 
Oh they're just going to have to be absolutely amazing. What's happening? Why really, share, really man? amazing. Coming up, coming up. I've got piss. Five points, five nights. Is this most haunted? Most haunted. Ah! Ah! See, it was Excuse living. She's dead. dead. She's. Right, here we go. Pete Burns is in London to interview for his new assistant. Pete Burns is With haunted. the expert Pete health Burns, celebrity Pete. PA, Donna Cooling. Most important criteria when looking for a PA, um, to me, I think, is someone who is super organised. And business well, psychologist. Well, kind of goes without well, saying, yeah. you know? I hate time wasters and have no time for pleasantries. It feels like he's putting on a character. Yeah, like, it does. He wouldn't it be like, like, hello, bank teller, yeah. I need to withdraw money from my account. Will be selected to compete for the job. I have no idea what's Imagine compete. Well, I suppose I everyone does kind of compete for a job. Yeah. Just on TV is a bit insane. Free and easy. There's nothing I find really daunting. You know, nothing really. Oh, I just like anything daunting. Shares become a British monarch. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can always tell the low budget because back in the day, all the judges would sit really close together. Nowadays, yeah. they sit with like eight feet apart yeah, each other yeah. to look really like titans of industry. Hi. Hi. Uh, hello. Who are we meeting? Next. First to impress the panel is 27 year old Denise from Dorset. Denise. Well, most of and I'll Hello, try, Denise. Well, my motto is I'll try anything once. If I like it, I'll go back. Do you know anything about me? What does that have to do with being a PA? Well, I'll not, try yeah. anything once, yeah. 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 I'm out. I know about your career, I know that you're obviously from Port, Port Sunlight. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I think you're about the same age as me, Mum and Dad. So, <laughs> so but oh, with, which is young? No, which is young? Which is young? They had me very young. Um, I'm speechless. Oh, Do you think there's anything wrong with being old? No, but if you heard my next sentence... I'm kind of old, it's a perfect job. I don't job, think my Mum and Dad are young, they're my best friends. OK. Thank you. I told you Goodbye. Mm -hmm. He's been with my dad, so he was like, oh, I'm insulted. I've never been so insulted in all my life. No. I do find it when that kind of happens, like, but you, you can't be insulted because you age. She didn't, I know. She didn't I say you were ugly and old. I like, think there's a difference between saying you look old and you are old. But I don't know. She didn't really say either. She just said you're the same age as my parents. She didn't say you're wrinkly as fuck, die. Get out of my pub! But I think if someone would say to you, so if someone's come up to me and be like, you look so old. I'd be like, that's rude. But like, someone says, you're the same age as my older brother. I'd be like, okay. Okay. No, thank you. I told him what I was like, told him what I thought he'd be looking for. You know, just fingers crossed. She's a good talker, but I just wonder if she's just all mouth. Next. Oh my God. Actually, all yeah, mouth. Yeah, because I'm very tenacious at getting things, and I'm sure I could get him anything that he wants. What is tenacious? Well, I'm, like I'm exciting. Oh. I can make that into a talent. What's a sex blog? A blog, sort of like a journal, so about my What's exploits. What's a sex blog? Um, in the bedroom, my exploits dating in London, etc. So you write about people you've had sex with? Ooh. Some of them, some of them people that I've dated. Sometimes they're celebrity, celebrities, but I always disguise who it is. So you write about celebrities that you've shagged? Yes, oh. and normal people. How about for celebrities that, that you've worked skill for? that you would bring? No, no, I have many skills. I mean, I'm, it shows I'm a people person. It definitely does. All of this is just kind of me, me, me. It's about being a celebrity PA is actually a bit about being She's invisible. From New York. That's yeah, what but it's that's about. The... Fight and go get her. Yeah. Well, I, I am a go get her. And the thing is, I'm really tenacious. I'm like a little. But this is about attention. On, on a, He's on trying to play the bad yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit cringe, yeah. actually. Well, I think we're going to let you go. I think so. Pete, anything he wanted or needed. I, I found Rob yeah. more difficult than Pete. Yes. yes. Yes, I it's would like agree. They, it's like they've watched X Factor or something. Was X Factor? Or, no, whatever. No. whatever. And been like, there's always, we need there's, to do that. There's, there's always, always there's a bad day. day. There's a mean judge mm -hmm. to the ditzy one, and then there's one like the you know the main. And one. then there's the main one. Absolutely, that's exactly. It's like exactly they've just it. got. But this isn't meant to be like an X Factor audition. Like this is just a job interview to be like, no, I can be a PA. I can get you a reservation at that hotel. Yes. Uh, well, come on, Teletubby, teleport us to Mars. <laughs> 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 My name is Ian Wood and I'm 23 years of age. Mm -hmm. Things I wouldn't do for Pete, well, you'd do everything because hopefully you wouldn't ask things that would be a bit crude or, <laughs> or anything. But 
I'll be up for saying Pete Burns not to say things crude. Just... But also, they're trying to make. They've asked him a question to be like, "Do you think he'll want you to sleep with him?" Yeah, kind of thing, yeah. because it's trying to paint him out as like, "Oh, gay celebrity gay, with a wig gay, on. Gay. What will he do to a young twenty-three-year-old?" That's the vibe I'm getting, anyway. How would you look after me? Uh, if if you want a taxi, a cup of tea, or anything, and. You work on the railways at the moment. Yeah, that's true. And you're a semi-pro footballer. Yeah. What do you do on the railways? Uh, maintenance. Just doing like the track if it's Ooh. broken. And... It's so if my choo-choo ever breaks down, you can mend it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be smutty. <laughs> OK, thanks for coming anyway. You should have come in your football shorts. <laughs> TV had no boundaries. Oh, no, no. No boundaries at all. <laughs> and everyone's just laughing. Thank you. Yeah, it's the funniest thing. Thank you. Cheers. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye -bye. He was adorable. He was and, a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, I'm disappointed because personally I didn't come across that shit do, but as soon as you walk through, you don't get the hell, you're so close into it. And well, he's been up with this pixelation I don't know, experience it's weird, isn't today. It? I enjoyed it. It's all a bit most haunted. Mary loves dick. Yeah. With Peter Michael's wedding oh, and an icon. away, the panel set about finding relevant experience. Have you ever organised a wedding? I have. Have you ever organised a wedding? No. Could you organise a wedding? I certainly could. I'm organising one of my friends. Have you ever planned a wedding? Well, I was planning my own wedding, actually, up until mm -hmm. a couple of days ago when my boyfriend broke up with me. Oh, oh that's a bummer. Oh. And I used to watch Tired. the wedding channel every Tired. day. Tired. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to have, you, you gotta have yeah. another one in the wings. <laughs> I know. So when I heard that, I... You need like, to go to have that or be a really, really good scrapper, because I'd kill mine. Scrapper? Anyway. Well, like, fight. <laughs> fight with your... Fight, <laughs> beat, beat! Uh, beat. Uh, yeah, I'm OK. I've had 48 hours now, but... This whole experience has really cheered me up. This whole experience? This whole experience cured my relationship that I was going to get married to someone. It's and been I'd, 48 hours and, and already I've, I I've been best. involved in a very low budget TV show with Pete Burns. Oh, yeah. it's better, I'm this killed! This is what I'm saying, like, the TV is such a low budget that, like, he, like it's, you know, I love Pete Burns and stuff, but, like, he was hardly this, like, rich, wealthy, like, unstoppable force. It's uh -huh. always weird that, like... He's always been, like, punk alternative rather yeah. than, like, an icon of the mainstream. So it's a bit strange for him to have a PA TV show. Yeah. Like, why wasn't it just, let's follow Pete Burns around? His life was going to be chaotic enough with that, yeah, without exactly. having to bring this. Maybe that's what they wanted to do, and the only way they could sell it or frame it was to be like, we're gonna find you someone to help. Oh, okay. oh great. Um, you look so good. Okay. Have a good one, Brenda. Thank you so much. Thank nice you. to meet Thank you. you. She looks too ditzy. To she looks, looks yeah, one. very loud. Uh, uh, what's happening? <laughs> I can't wait to see how this is. That warning to Michael. Take it as you go. You'll never get away from me. I'm glad close. His face is beautiful. Um, I know he said he's, he has a lot of problems in the past with the reconstructive surgery, but he looks amazing now, really does. No. She seems sweet, but I, I don't want to show it to her. Well. She seems no. too. On a record label, so I've been on the gay scene and the club scene, and I find people like that very exciting. I don't mind the uh, the hissy fits. I, again, you're trying to diffuse it with humour. You listen to it. You wait for it's over. Wait for it, wait for it all to calm down. She's a right bubbly to... woman who just yes. wants a gay best friend. Yes. Why did you come here today? Because I think we'd be a really good team together. Why? Because I, I like your class, I like your wit, I'm a good worker. Working for someone like P would actually be interesting. Well, why do you think he's going to be interesting? He's actually quite dull. No, he's not. <laughs> not at all. He's got an acerbic wit, which I adore. And just the fact that the next few years of your career is going to be very interesting, I think. You've been involved in running a record label, you've managed artists, mm -hmm. been a tour manager, you've been a singer. I see this as a step down for you. He needs me. But, I mean, all the things you're saying just don't make sense. He's not being very good, is he? No, no, like, like, surely you want one of these people to become part of the job, so you can't just be like, your shit. The thing is, if it's like a step down for someone and they're doing this, blah, 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 like, it just, like that's their problem, that's yeah. not your problem. If, if, like, being overqualified for a position is not a reason to not have them. You're a mess, woman. Yeah. Everyone needs to work. Yeah. God, you're horrible. Possession. He's definitely playing I'm a part. Job. They think that they have an understanding of you when they don't, which is quite interesting. She did defend herself well, though. Mm -hmm. She didn't look phased. Next. With the interviews in full swing, nice. some nice. of the candidates are impressing the panel with some right answers. Are you got under pressure? <laughs> oh, absolutely. What's your biggest mistake you've made? There's no point to make this mistake, because that means you regret it. It's a job I would like to do, and it's a job I do feel that I could do, and could do very well. Ich bin Mario from Witness. Others are just making an impression. What's your most annoying habit? Pissing on the toilet seat. Oh, oh stop it! Why did you share 
that? Ew. Ew. <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to dress like that for a job interview. Can you sit with your legs together, please? Because I find it absolutely nauseating that you're sitting there with your legs spread to show me you've got big plums. Plum. No. Plum. Plums. Schlifke. Could you wedding really quickly? Because I'm Marcy McCutcheon. Oh, really? Next. Shelley from Essex was runner-up in the Bikini Babe competition 2006 for the Daily Star and believe So she must become Pete Burns' PA. That's not a, a, like a high prestigious like a thing to become like Becoming a the runner Daily up Star in the Daily Star's bikini competition. Sure. There's, okay. There's, there's room for everyone, it's, it's shall we it's say. It's very um, chat magazine fate and fortune. It my is, sister isn't it? died and then I killed her ghost. Yes, like, very that, very that. My, her ghost haunts my cupboards. Yeah. She's got the front to become Pete's PA. I love Pete as a person. Um, Do you? Don't though? know much about him, to be honest. I haven't really researched his background, but after watching him on The Big Brother, on the Big Brother, uh, was, you it's very strange to hear people say things like, I really like you as a person, but I don't know anything don't, about don't know. you. No. Like you I haven't cannot... done any research. No, no, no. Why no, are no. you going on this TV show then? Weird. Ludicolo. Ludicolo! really believe that I could be his PA because we're very much alike. We both know what we want. We tell people... And we've um, both got to their face. You know, if you don't like someone, we'll tell them straight to their face. And I think that's a really good way to be. I mean, people that are alike do normally get No. I have to say, this is an interesting CV because... Okay. <laughs> You've done photo shoots for Nuts, FHM, Wonder Bra, a medical catalogue, and you've listed your bust size here. Yeah, I know. Why? Why? Um, when I went to my dance college, I was always told when you write out a CV to always put your measurements. But that would be for a dance job, surely. Not for a personal assistant job. <laughs> I know. In some jobs, tits get you everywhere. <laughs> Are they, um... No, they're not. Oh, they got implants. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Do you, that's want, to do you want to work in TV? The weirdest lot to work in TV. Yeah. Doing what? What's your ideal job? job? Uh, my ideal job, I think, would probably be presenting because I'm very. It just maybe feel like they're just doing it just to get seen on TV or something. Like, it's it's got to be that, hasn't it? But also, ideal job presenting. Um, you should say Pete Burns is PA. Yeah, you should, yeah. <laughs> Spotlights. Yeah. You know, not behind the scenes working yeah. for someone like. You're going to be working PA. for the star, that, not being the star. That's Three things you know about Pete. He's got um, a boyfriend called Michael. Mm -hmm. Um, he doesn't like Jodie Mosh. Mm -hmm. And I mean, an icon. He listen, um, Dawson. What? Dorset, sorry. No, I don't. Don't know anyone else. You think you know something about him, but you can only actually list two. Can I just read some more? Oh, they're kind of laughing at me. How do you think it will help you to get a job as a PA that you had to do a photo shoot and take sexy poses and fire replica guns? That's that's not going to help me. But the thing is, that's only listed my modelling career. That doesn't list what I do. So and that you got to the finals of a bikini babe. That's not going to help me, but I mean, I work in an office three days a week. I work in sales. Then why didn't you list that? Why, hey, why would you not put that? I know. Stuff? Because this is basically an office administrative I know. Job. I mean, I know it's all modelling jobs, but it does show that I can, you know, I can work in different areas and, okay. you know, work at them well. I've showed them my personality and I did explain to them. That was the, that was the worst weird. job interview I've that ever seen. That was the weirdest, like, section of it. Like, what, 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 what I didn't put that I work in an office on my CV because I thought you'd be more impressed about my tit size. Uh, that goes to show, though, that maybe this was advertised to them as just, like, reality TV show and not, yeah. like, what do you think this reality TV show is? Yeah. Um, I apologise for just sending the model in dance CV, but I told them the other types of work I do about the office work, about organising meetings and stuff, so I know how to work, you know, as a business person as well but as... But I didn't want to tell them that. I didn't tell them that, so hopefully no. Because I want right. to be a breast model. I liked yeah. her. I liked her. No, what are they called? Glamour models. I'm Kelly models. and I'm 28, nearly 29. I've been quite relaxed all day, but now something's going to happen. I'm going to get all silly and go, <laughs> or something ridiculous like that. I think you'd be really How exciting wacky. to work for. I think it'd be an exciting job, a challenging job. Um, at the moment, wacky I'm Carol. very bored. I've got quite a short attention span and um, I need to be kept stimulated. Your dream job is to be a wildlife don't, documentary don't, presenter. Don't, wow. yeah. How you Why would you say that? I've got a really short attention. What, really? what are these? What are these? What are these people doing? It's weird, isn't it? It's like the most random collection of people you can imagine put together in a room and then put with like a famous transvestite. <laughs> Stupid. Like what? You're gonna get there from working for Pete. I have no idea. Do I you don't like wild animals? Okay. I do. You're gonna be working for one. Oh, accurate. Accurate. Oh, that's fun. That is really quick. Maybe I just spoke too much and hit too much and it'll be one go. But um, yeah, all good. Job done.
I have I don't to say, think. she's got a square head on her shoulders. I think she could do the job. I liked her energy. Yeah. I hated her. I think what we did should he just say? He's, she's got a square head on her shoulders. I think she can do the job. Square head. Did they say like t- big? No, they bought that short. It's not called square head. You've got like a good, level head. Is it level, level head? head? You got, she's yeah. really level. Like, you got a square head on your shoulder. I'd be like, bitch. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. Give her the chance. Bear with us on this one. On the, on the swan. They love this pixelation. Don't they, they do. have now seen quite a cross section of applicants, but nothing could prepare them for 48 year old Sasha, who believes that he and Pete are like two peas in a pod. Oh, right, okay. This is, this is what ridicule this is. the weirdos. Yes, this feels very X Factory like. Let's say to do with changing and transforming one's gender. At this stage of my life, I'm looking for something which would stretch me extraordinarily to the max. I have to say, it was a pretty late night, but I made the effort for Mr. Burns. Great, wow. thank you. For Mr. Burns, excellent. <laughs> the only people we have in this town. I have to say, I'm at a loss for words, it doesn't really happen. <laughs> you didn't get here till one today. Do you have a problem with timekeeping? I didn't know I had to be here by one. I got up at my usual time. And Did what time work? do you normally get up? Um, depends on my inclination, then. So what, what time would you well, turn up for work? I just John McClane. when it's necessary, because... So you, you wouldn't have a problem I, getting to I lived and worked ten. in Berlin during the Cold War as a drag performer. So if you work in Germany, you become ultra punctual. Okay, this is a job as a PA. You really want to work as a dog's body, a g- gopher. Yeah, you work for Richard O'Brien as, as his assistant. How long was that for? And a brief period, but that would Who's come... Richard O'Brien? I need to look this I up. I recognise the name, me I can't think of my head who that is. Oh, you say he's the Crystal Maze Man, isn't he? Yeah, oh, Crystal Maze, Crystal Maze Man. Okay, so Sasha was a PA for the Crystal Maze Man. Yeah, of course. Was... And a brief period, but there were complications. How long did you work for Richard O'Brien for? Oh. For five months. Okay, so after four or five months, it didn't work out. No. That's a problem for me. But we have to assume the worst that you hacked him off in Darling, you. you can assume whatever you like. And it's just that, as far as I'm concerned, I'm still bound by my sense of being a PA for Richard, which is being discreet and respecting his privacy, and I'm not prepared to violate it, either for you or anyone else or any out. media or newspapers. I well, mean, that's kind of the right thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. but in a way, it's like, oh, thanks, 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 thanks for waiting for Bye-bye. Thanks. Pete, I think it's in the lap of the gods, is all I can say. But uh, I'm looking forward to hitting the head. Oh, well, what this person's it's doing now, yeah. yeah. They just look like a 70s rock star, like everyone. Yeah, I was like, like was one of the most... A soft-spoken, insane person. Yeah. <laughs> that hair was creepy. I was just like... I'm slightly disappointed with the people we've had this morning. Because I'm slightly I've disappointed with a, you, a couple Rob. Of people who Rob. I think I'd put through. She oh, she's been robbed. Is, you know, basically a wannabe. So hopefully we're going to get some better quality candidates this afternoon. I'm looking for somebody who's going to be professional, oh, with a bit of background <laughs> experience, maybe media experience. Uh, somebody who's got some common sense and really wants to do the job. Everyone seems to like my tits, but I don't know how I can make that into a talent. How can you make that into a talent? Glamour modelling. Extraordinarily to the max. Pete's already chaotic life is about to take on more chaos because he's about to marry his partner, Michael. Oh. They did get married, did they, like, did they ever get married? Yeah, they, they, did. Did. they broke up and they got back together. Their, their, they rela- their relationship they, was very tumultuous. Sad. Whichever the case may be. He's planning to marry boyfriend Michael, Aww. so he doesn't only need someone to organize the wedding, he also needs someone to organize his life. Hiring a PA. His life. Oh, we're going to die. Bye. Come on, he, he does the day-to-day running of everything. They're going to have to really alleviate some of the pressure off him so we can actually spend time So Michael is basically his PA. And the man yeah, basically. The job could well be Damon from Middlesex. Oh, it's... Um, I be Pete's PA because I'm uh, an organised... My Chemical guy. Romance um, man. Oh, yes. Um, Today, um, my father... Really young boy. Um, ate sorry, my baby. Hello, afternoon. Hi. How are you? What's a big entrance Thank to you very much. You noticed. Thank goodness yeah. for that. We are so bored. We've seen five million people. I think that job, I've been sitting with five million people. Yeah, we're here. So you've been, we're here, you've been entertaining them. So mm. why are you here? Why do you want this job? Because I want a career. So this is like a, this this is a like step love, down love. I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say last ditch attempt, no. But uh, it's, uh, it's, I had a career with an airline for seven years. I was dealing with VIP um, clients with that. Mm. Um, I love that. But the oh, she's like, VIP. Like, be patient. If you learn to be patient. Oh, do you think it was worth the wait? Completely. No. Most of the men that have walked through that door have made me want to vomit down the front of my shirt. And he didn't. As the day begins oh, to Oh, she's in with a job. For the applicants. Do you think you can work out 
how that garment goes on. Well, that's quite an interesting way yeah, to... That is an interesting thing, isn't it? Can you work out this garment? This girl is too young, way too young, to be a PA for an international celebrity. Oh. Just put it on. I love the music. Like, she's fucking stupid. My name is Debbie Richards, and oh. I'm a rather horrible 48. <laughs> I don't think there's anything particularly special um, that I'm really that yeah, anybody else can. Just lots of support. She's 15 years older than me. Oh! Scary. What's brought you here today? To die. Say <laughs> bleed by. Have you had any experience of being a PA before? Oh, masses, I'm afraid, yes. I've just finished working for Lulu Guinness. And before that, I was looking after a doctor in um, Camden uh, for five years. Yeah. How do you think we could improve my life? Well, I'd give you lots of support. And she seems I'd really lovely. I'd make you happy and laugh, you know, and uh, just make you enjoy your life better. Not saying that you've got an unenjoyable life, obviously. I hate it. Oh. <laughs> Accurate. Do you know anything about me at all? I don't know very much. Only what my friends have told me. Bobby told you. <laughs> Bobby told you. It's all a vicious rumour. <laughs> what do you want to know? No, they've told me that you're, you're a very interesting person. You're obviously very famous. Um, and I'd be very lucky to work for you. I'm incredibly disorganised. I never remember to pull up zippers. I forget. I mean, I think it's... She's very cute, but like you have to know who you're going to work for. Yeah. Also, she needs to be a bit more cutthroat, I feel like. in Because, well, I mean, we don't need PAs and we're hardly like this level of international pop star success. But still, if I was to have someone working for me, I would want them to get brand deals in a way that is beneficial to me. Not just be like, whatever you we'll can see do. What happens, yeah, we'll yeah. See. yeah, as long as yeah. you feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. no, be my pit bull. <laughs> yeah, I need you to be like, no more money. No, no, no this, this, no that. Yeah. Yes. No, we can't do a 48 hour turnaround for a yeah. 14 hour project. Yeah. I have to put my shoes on. I just live in a bubble and I'm a complete diss. Do you think Dizzy that you can organise those elements in my life? Everyone in this show has undiagnosed ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> what a boyfriend does. He says, you can't go out your trousers are undone. You can't go out without no shoes on, because I forget everything. You think you could cope with that? Yes, I You're quite think. maternal? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. How would you quite wake paternal. me up in the morning? She's a man. With a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. What, throw No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. From the sugar nice. babies. Yeah. yeah. OK, then. Thank you so much. OK, thank you. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. She's very, like, lovely old I think we should all have one. I think she's actually quite sorted. Yeah. She's I'm, lovely. She's I'm very she's lovely. Yeah. I mean, she comes across so as sort of quite mousy, but I think there's like no, a little bit of a... Maybe it's one of the others. Maybe it is. Maybe she's actually a bit of a woman and she drugs She was my absolute favourite so far. So, with Edwin. being in a positive mood, will born entertainer Brian from Edgware be able to secure a place born in the PA House? This isn't about you, though. This isn't the show. This isn't you. You don't be someone's PA to be like the attention. The, yeah. Yes, I am a celebrity in my own right. But I am beginning to get recognised, especially uh, if I go on trains and buses. Oh, especially if I go on buses, I'm recognised. Funny girl. Yeah. I've got the looks. The experience and the pizzazz, and it'll keep him in order. That will keep him in order. order. You need to be kept in order. Next, this man's going to be eaten alive. Oh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I love impersonating people, and I do, you know, and I'm the first one, and you know, it's Kenneth Williams. And of course, there's, of course, Frankie Howard, oh, and he's another one. He goes, don't it, I love, don't it, dear. Don't mock me, afflicted. Oh, that's what he's Does he think this is X Factor, or Britain's Got Talent? Yeah, there was, there was, there was, there was oh, so many. How long have you been in showbiz? Um, about 30 years. It says on your CV that you want to use this to get up the ladder. Ladder of what? Ladder to my roof, ladder in my tights, what ladder? <laughs> I suppose, to be honest, the, the ladder of the next rung of the ladder. What do you think my day-to-day -day work actually... Has he been, like, misled into uh, yeah, what this, this is? This feels very misled. This feels like the joke act you'd weird, have on Britain's yeah, Got Talent, weird. you know? That would always get to the final somehow. Yeah. So, uh, technically, what we're trying to, like, interview for here is an administrator, an admin behind-the-scenes yeah. person. Yeah, that everyone that's come on has been like, Hello! Good heavens. Exactly, like, it it like, makes no sense. It's like the hire for a talent competition, but, like... It's not. It's like a, there's no talent needed. Because it's, it's either 
these people are just all deranged or they were misled into thinking what they were actually doing. And to be honest, it could be a combination of both, especially yeah. for the time and period in which this was. Obviously going places. What could you do about me going places? Well, it's obviously the organising your chauffeur, organising the venues, organising your wardrobe. Can you give us an example of something you've organised recently? My fridge. Um, <sighs> At this time, no. All I can tell you is... Uh, In the bed. Just, well, failed. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right. Well, I think we really? found your you, name. That, that was... That, that like, what was that? This isn't a job for you. Like, to, or, like... Surely they have to have been misled because I don't feel like he was prepared in any way, shape, that or didn't form make that, for what that this whole, is. Yeah, that whole segment didn't make any sense. Zero. It'd be like trying to go to Crufts and someone come and trying, I'm here to sing. I'm here to be the clown. Like, I don't get it. I don't, we like, oh yeah, so like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to sing, all this piss. Contestants know that if all else fails, there's always the party pieces to get Contest the judges' attention. Contestants! My fingers are double jointed, so they can't do like a belly dance. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Oh, hi, him. Yay! Yay! Yeah, like, why? What, what's this got to be a PA? Tell us a joke. Um, there is um. I can't think of one, sorry. There yeah. is. That's okay, I hate jokes. Things aren't I love looking it. good for 31-year-old Natalie from Wales, who's struggling to string a sentence together. We're just really hungover and not very good at all, so, yeah, it's probably best we, um... Why are you wearing the same clothes Why are you here? as you wore last night? Well, I, Did you I, pull? <laughs> no, I've been home for about two hours, but I freshened them with Febreze, so, so they're, they're oh. not that bad. Why have you only been home for two hours? What were you out doing? What's happening? What, what, is, what is this show? What is happening? You have a full social life. Definitely. Work hard, play hard, definitely. OK. This might, be, this might be the weirdest reality TV show I've ever seen. Yeah, because... And I've seen some things. It doesn't make any sense. There's no story like This is very... It's like Janice Dickinson's modelling it agency. Is, it, it is. Basically, Janice Dickinson. Pete Burns' agency, yes. Gildo. So what about if Pete calls you at 11 o'clock at night because his waters... Not his waters are broke. <laughs> oh, oh, Jimmy oh, Burns. Yeah, he's having a baby. <laughs> <Boilers broke. laughs> because his boilers exploded or something and Michael you're kind of breaks. in a club or something. You know, how, how are you going to deal with that? Well, I, my phone is always on vibrate, so I can I can drag my, my back end there. I want to get my phone on vi vi vibrate. Ooh, well, so it's 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 okay. I can't hear a single word she's saying. The audio is terrible. Is someone who makes who will make your life easier and cover up any sort of crap along the way. I mean, all audio is shit back in these days in these shows. It's weird, all of them isn't it? Awful. How was it so terrible? Why didn't they just have the Velier mics? Or would you they... think they were like over boom mics and they're just like, I'm going to listen over yeah, here, yeah. actually. Like, Hello! I want ambiance of the room, actually. Ambiance, yeah. I actually want to listen to outdoors. I only want your reverb. <laughs> I only, sounds like this room at the moment. I only want your reverb. Oh, no, it's a bit dicey. It's like an exam, isn't it? I don't think I've, I don't think I've done well. But I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I've tried my best. The opportunity was on my doorstep, and I couldn't pass it up. And so. I got drunk. <laughs> and you just had to get drunk. I have to say, she was more than sweet. She was bloody fantastic. She was good fun. She was a breath of fresh air. She was. For a breeze. Yeah. She'd be freaking useless at the job, but she might be a laugh. Be useless. No, I think that she'd be a laugh and good at the yeah. This man no, knows, he knows nothing about anything. anything. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely. Useless. I consider myself like a gay man trapped in a woman's body. Uh, oh, fuck's sake. Uh, fuck's sake. That was fuck. something we used to hear all, all the, time. the time. I've totally forgotten all about that. All the time. Totally forgot about that saying. You, you and a guys, gay man you, trapped you, in a woman's yeah, body. If you, if you weren't around like the early 2000s, like you, you would, would hear that. that. All the time, constantly. Even things like Big Brother or like auditions, you would always hear that in that VTs. Like that's yeah. what they would always say. Always, always, always. always. What well, didn't even Michelle Visage say that she had? She had like she was a gay black man trapped in a woman's body. Oh yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that was right. Ew, Michelle. Unhinged. Why would you want to be a PA for someone like me? Um, and please let me say this: on your CV it says you're a massive fag hag. And secondly of all, if this is a job interview, as I don't consider myself a fag, I do think this photograph is highly inappropriate for a job application. I don't think it's one bit funny. And I don't really see any need to say you're a massive fag hag. What does that mean? 
Why Good. Would, why would you put that as your... On your CV, I'm a fag hag. I'm so glad that Peter's gone like, this is disgusting. Yeah. Because back is. then, I think most, like, celebrity gays wouldn't have thought that that was a problem. The thing is, though, it's I difficult. think it, it's, it's, it doesn't matter where you are in, in, like, the realm of time. Like, as a woman, as a straight person, as a, any straight people... Like, you can't accessorise a minority. Yeah, and you can't be like, I'm a great fag hag, because that's for the gay person to one decide if he thinks you would like that. But also... He can say that said like word. We, I mean, that's that's an old term now. Anyway, like I don't, I can't even remember the last time I even heard fag hag. When did you last hear that? Literally around this problem. Yeah, probably around this time. So like you don't hear that, but like you, you even there in back in these days, that's for the gay person to say about mm-hmm. you. What well, you can't call yourself that because it's it, not your word. It's not your word. Yeah, it's not your word. It's not your and word. And I'm glad not, that Peter yeah. said this because. You know. It it shows exactly how people actually react to that because she would have said that to her straight friends and they'd have been like, Oh, oh yeah, 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 why are you quirky? Yeah. She said it to a gay person or a, a queer person, should we say, and Peter's gone, immediately die. Locked on. Death! Massive fag hag. Death! Do you like being around queers? I do. <laughs> so you're a gay man trapped in a woman's body? Exactly. Uh, and you think that, that's that face says it all. Getting a job? Definitely not, but I think it would certainly then why help. did you mention it? It's just stupid, isn't it? Yeah, well, our boxes. most annoying habit could be talking about cock all the time. Yeah, right. Oh, honey, yeah. what's so special about cock? Ding dong. <gasps> well, I don't have one. Maybe that's why they're so special. Oh, you this one sounds unbearable. All right, they get okay. in the they get in the way. They really limit your choices of underwear. All right okay. then. <laughs> Thank well, you. okay, finito. Bye bye. Dead. Someone's not getting the executed. Job. Bag, 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 mm-hmm. bag. The only fag I like is the one that smoke. Next. Do you know what? I don't get phased. I've worked with murderers and rapists and... I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? The first thing we've heard from this woman, I've worked with murderers and rapists. So what does that mean? Surely she's got to be a prison woman. (sighs) Or a police officer, maybe? That was a bit... I've worked with murderers and rapists, so Pete Burns is fine. Do you know, when Lux says, should we watch this show? I said to her, as you coming up, I was like, I have zero expectations. Yeah. I've never watched it before. I knew, obviously, I've been a big fan of Pete Burns for most of, like, my adult life. But, like, I was no idea about the show at all. This is not... Like, you could have given me a list of so many things, and this probably would have been at the bottom of my list of what I thought we were going to be watching. That is wild, isn't it? Like, why would the first thing you say is, I've worked with murderers and rapists? The most unhinged reality TV show I've ever seen. Why? That's not something you admit, love. We don't like murderers and rapists. So to say... Like, yeah, to say Pete, it as like, a, well, I've worked with yeah. this person. Because like, Pete Burns is going to be like murderers and rapists. Disgusting. Like, the equa- yeah, the, that's the equation. There. Yeah. The equa- 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 equating. The equating there, yeah. That- Droppy teenagers and you combine the lot together and you put them in front of me. They're rude, they're threatening, they're arrogant, they're dangerous. I still smile, I still go back to work the next day, and I still make sure there's a relationship between me and that person. This is a job for, a, 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 as a PA, so, mm-hmm. you know, sending faxes, doing research on the computer, <laughs> meeting clients, maybe. Doing research on the computer, mm-hmm. do you remember when that was a thing? I, I don't know, like, so dressed as a, a stripper? Ah. That's not really a stripper. That's a stripper, because I've got my skirt and top on. No, I sent in several photos, and that expresses the fun side of me, and I didn't want to be seen. She's clocked the producers yeah, there. Did yeah, you yeah, see yeah, that? Yeah. They're trying to spin a narrative. That. I want Pete to know that I am a fun person, and I do have a personality, and mm. I'm confident about that. Are you mm. happy to take a step back? Do you know what? Pete's the star. I'm just here to help yeah, him shine. Yeah, ex- exactly, um, yeah. Yeah, no, good I'm not, Oh, I'm just here to help him shine. That, that it might come along with a job, I get that. But I'm not trying to be you, I'm trying to help you be who you I are. I just want to be me. Would you think that somebody like me was really high maintenance? I think the media portrays you as high maintenance. Um, I think maybe in your personal life, occasionally you are. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. God, I'm a woman. We're all high maintenance. OK, that's great. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Interesting. Nice to meet you. And you right. wrap this up okay. now. Right. Right. I think Pete actually really liked her. I got the vibe there of like, Okay. Murderers and rapists. Murderers and rapists, yes. Okay, yes. I'm, let's I'm, work. I'm, I'm just going a, to work with that. I'm just a petty criminal. Thank a you. petty high maintenance woman. Yeah. Say a nasty thing to me and then things like a little kitten. She wasn't yeah. like, oh my god, you're amazing, I love fan. you. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing that I didn't yeah. like about her. She should have said, oh my god, you're amazing, I really love you. And that would have been more because she's the kind of person who's not going to take any shit from you. Next. I run a shift of seven guys uh, 24 hours a day. Um, 
And I run a shift of what? Next. I run a shift of seven guys uh, God. 24 hours a day. Um, and Is she a madam? I'm like a PA to them. I'm a bit shocked, but I know where you come from. Just sit down. Okay, thank you. Oh, the gender identity thing, what, what, what is this? It's, it's transvestitism, isn't it? Well, yes, yes. I've been cross-dressing since I was eight years old um, and kept it a secret for 45 years. Well, honey, the cat's out the bag now. Well, yes, it is now. So I came on TV? Yeah. What's your mum's name? Ah, John. John. Yeah, I can, I can be either. Um, yeah, who would come up? <laughs> Helen, John. Uh, it's, who the best, it? it's the best of both worlds, really. Do you have any perception at all of the demands that I might put upon you on a day-to-day -day basis? I can only guess. I think, yes, I could quite easily get through to the next round. He's not right for the role. I mean, she seemed sweet, but I don't think Pete liked her, should we no. say? She was like, oh, the gender identity thing. Hmm. I think it's strange. Even I called Pete a transvestite earlier, kind of in a jokey way, but I don't think Pete would have been appreciated to be like put in the same category of human as yes. a crossdresser or a transvestite because Pete was just like an androgynous rock star. He didn't see clothes as like, this is for a woman, this is for a man. It was just like, this is my wardrobe. Whereas I'm like, you wear men's clothing, faggot. That's going to be at the front of the video. Yeah. Whenever, yeah. whenever I go out shopping with Callum, because obviously Callum shops in like the female section, the amount of times we're just like looking around and like one of the people going, do you need any help? Do you need any help? Just, like, help. Yeah, the men's are over yeah. there. Do you need Shapeless help? And it's he like, do you need help? Yes. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I know, right? Transvestite. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, if I had an absolutely huge budget, I'd love you, John Sirach, I'd give him the role because I'd love to see people deal with Alan. I think I've got a lot to offer. Oh. I'm highly organised. Um, I'm fun, friendly, good communicator. Um, I just think I'd be a really good asset to his team. I'm just going to go in there and be myself, and if you like, she looks does, very good. Yeah. 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 Can you tell me why you'd like to be my PA? Um, I've done the work before, so I know what it involves. Who with? Uh, a Radio One presenter. Okay. Um, so I know what it involves, like the celebrity side and the home side. And why Pete? Because I'm lovely. He's lovely, he's unique, um, you know, interesting. What about the nightclub that you run? Uh, yeah, I've just recently started running a nightclub for um, people with learning difficulties. Oh, wow! Um, it's like a closed sort of environment, so it's a safe environment. Have you got a very sort of placid temperament? They kind I've... of glossed over that yeah, so quick, yeah. but that is an incredible thing. We yeah. need to see more. I've never heard of that before. No. That needs to be more people. More of this, please. It's fairly chilled, yeah. You don't yeah. fight back? Um, not if I can help it. If I can find another alternative, then I'll go down that route. So you're very zen? Yes. <laughs> okay. Bye, Ria. Bye, bye, Pete. Take care. Die, Ria. <laughs> it was a lot calmer, actually. It was quite nice, nice I guess. She was. It was nice. It was nice. I it really couldn't tell if you liked her or not. So it was good. I like, I like her a lot. Nice. She I was like nice. Her. Oh. She's got that temperament. She's got it. Oh! So here's the final 20. Oh, they loved a Polaroid friends. session, yeah. didn't God, they? Pick 10, so. Miriam's all about Ooh, Polaroids God, as well. <laughs> okay, well, okay. I, I remember her. I really liked her, Maria. I've done the work before. Maria, yeah. So Maria. Maria. Who is? Maria! Uh, oh, <laughs> She's good. Yeah, I thought she was good as well, and I liked the colour of her hair. Yeah, what about oh, Sasha? Very good for me, eh? time. And what time do you normally get up? Um, depends on my inclination, then. I mean. <laughs> I, I just don't see it, personally. I, there's no way on earth. Naive London girl, the one with the exploding titties. And I'm good at dealing with people who are high profile and have special needs. And she wants to screw special celebrities. I'm spoken for. She was fantastic. Yeah, I've just finished working for Lulu Guinness. Um, and before that, I was looking after a doctor. Yeah, I really liked her. She seemed like really like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. the only one that goes through. Yeah. yeah. I, I just, just feel like, the thing is, I just feel like she won't be able to handle Pete being like, I want this now. Yeah, she's going to be like, like okay. She's definitely like that. Yeah. Yes, it's okay. Yeah. Helen slash John. I lead a team of seven guys on shift work. Um, Do so I, uh, uh, well, I'm in heavy mechanical engineering. He's just oh, come out of that. Oh, that. 
Helen or John exactly. is. Exactly, I think he's got a lot going on at the moment. But he knows where to find a pair of 60 Dania American tan tights after midnight. She's the one who came in with a really uh, very well. specific mm -hmm. skill set. Yeah, she, yeah, she was. I think um, a PA basically is someone who will make your life easier and cover any sort of crap along the way. She's a yes, she's a yes. I'm putting her as That's a, yes. a very telling sentence, isn't it? Cover up a lot of crap along the way, as in celebrities back in the day had a lot of stuff to cover yeah. up. Yeah. But what about what about this guy? What about Ian? Uh, he made no impression on me. Uh, it's going to be a challenge for me. I believe I can do it just as well as anyone else. You Maybe don't better. go to, like if I was trying to hire someone to be like a video editor, it might be really challenging for me. I'd be like, well, then well, then you're in the wrong job. So yeah, like I, this, what a strange thing to say. A weird interview. thing to say. If given the opportunity, could actually blossom and surprise I, yeah, us. Yeah, I do too. Blossom. I don't really. think. I'm an office manager for the Metropolitan Police. No, she's um, I manage an office out. of 300 people. Um, very varied. And like a lot of the wannabes that we've seen, you know, she's someone who I believe could actually do the job. Okay, Denise. Wallabies. I've a lot of the wallabies. Um, the koalas we've degree seen. in multimedia journalism, which I think is a big plus to have, like a media insight. I was then going to go to Queen's College to do an executive PA in business course. So, I mean, I'm, this is what I really want to do. She was okay. She was sparky. Mm. That's what you want to hear? Shelley, you got to the Shelley. of a bikini babe. That's not going to help me, but I mean, I work in an office three days a week. I work in sales. Then why do you miss that rather than kind of this kind I know. of stuff? Because this is basically an office admission. Are we supposed like, to? No. no. Is she going to get through? I mean, she's through? a wannabe. I don't, I don't know. I think... No, she really wants it. Damon, he would be able to put up with yeah. these kind of other people. Yeah. I had a career with an airline seven years while dealing with VIP um, clients. With these type of people? Wait, so they're trying to make it like a drama in the house? Yeah, 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 as well. Okay. Yeah. Why did you come here today? Because I think we'd be a really good team together. Why? Because I, I like your cleverness, I like your wit, I'm a good worker. She, she was, was good. good. On yeah. paper, she had great, great credentials. Oh, one more. Okay, so we've got two Return left. To Nikki and Judy. I love Judy. Judy. Yeah, Ju Judy was but great. But she made a huge mistake. She brought a copy of my book yeah. to sign. Will you sign my book? Yeah, sure. That was, that, that was really <laughs> no! Cool. Was and it was a good opportunity to put me on the spot and get the book signed, and now she's disappeared into the, into the ether, and I just don't really want someone working for me who's going to ask me to sign. No, things. that was yeah, that's 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 the wrong thing. That means that we're left with her. We put Nick. You can't be like a fangirl when you're going to work for someone. Like, that's no. not, that's not Do you think Beyonce has people going, yeah. Her all day, every day. Like, I mean, she does, but not PAs. Yeah, no, that's that's not. PN. Yeah. That's not I've had says. business experience. I've oh, been she's a murderous degrees. girl. Yeah, she's a murderous somebody girl. Somebody at the side working for you that's, yeah. that you can trust. Are you happy to take a step back? Do you know what? Pete's the star. I'm just here to help yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. That was a yes. great yes, yes, it was. That was a good. Yes. yes. Quite sparky, intelligent, yes. actually. Sparky. And again, sort of, again, she's not an age, but yeah. she's younger, but she has that maturity. Okay. I think these are the right choices. Yeah. Let's is she in? Levels out. Or is she I'm out? I'm worried about the girl who covered herself in Febreze and came no, in. No, I thought, you know. I think it's a top <laughs> tip. <laughs> so, yeah. is it? The girl who covered herself in Febreze? That was the drunk girl, wasn't uh, it? She yeah. was like, tss, tss, tss. So, you two are happy with yeah. this selection? Yes. Okay, goodbye, losers. Oh! Yeah. The final ten have been chosen. Wow. They will live and breathe as Pete's right hand men and women whilst this competing against so each bored. other during some grueling What a weird job. Pose on the balcony. Oh, oh, serving fashion. Nationally stickers. Oh, Sales, go. Janice so, Dickinson. Modeling. Surprised by the ten people I, I chose because it's a very diverse selection. So now they're going to live in the house people. together. I mean, they are all they've white. They've got their own individual strengths and they're all interesting characters. And somehow, one is going to jump out oh dear. of those ten and prove themselves to be everything that I want. I mean, TV shows back in these days weren't diverse. They were really. not diverse. If you think at about all. the, if you think about the Swan, there was, oh, I think it was no, one yeah. black person. At yeah, the and they made thing. her to be like a difficult black. But, woman. Yeah, the angry black woman in it. Like they had full on like that. But there was, I most shows back here never, never had any. Was there a black person in Bridalplasty? Yes, and she was voted out first. Oh, see, so there you go. go. I'm kind of leaving behind my boyfriend and my, my dogs. <laughs> um, she's and a ghost. My friends this is a well, really pixelated. So, but they're absolutely rooting for me. So, so she's in. I could wish for. What a weird treat. To get this job would oh, mean off the breeze, a lot to me yeah. because I've come from a small town and I've really, you know, pushed myself here to yeah. really fall back. Have with you pushed yourself or did you just get drunk? Yeah. <laughs> and it would mean everything. It would be unbelievable. It's very very expressive. Oh, really? How did he get through? So I want to win.
I think it's going to be really competitive. Um, there's going to be probably a lot of bitching and that. backstabbing. Well, I'm hoping that's going to be oh, I remember how that murder was, girl. Because that woman was one of the uh, you're the rage of my parents. To try and meet oh. them. I am quite stubborn. Um, I think this might affect How did the clever girl get in, um, Shanice? I'm quite opinionated, so um, I might sort of say what's on my mind. People might not like that, but that's who I am at the end of the day. I think in the house people oh, not will surprised. be um, quite catty, quite backstabbing, quite So this bitch. is the thing, that they're, they're going to live inside a house which makes me feel like they're actually picking people to be in like a Big Brother setting rather than yeah. like yeah. you're trying to pick this fit, like why- The winner gets to be a PA yeah, rather than like Yeah, but you're in like a, a Big Brother house setting. So this feels like, cause you would never do this. Like if you actually wanted a PA, why are you making them all live together? Yeah, and I think they actually have to compete in challenges as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so, this, so this, they were picking these people They've for tried a to show it's like Pete than, Burns' Big Brother. Yeah, 100%. Whoa. Okay. Uh, looking to drop the next person in it as quick as probably look at you. I really want this job. I think it'd be an excellent. Oh, I'm surprised that she's here. You know, really find something that I'm good at and that I'm CSI. passionate about. That's exciting. That keeps me challenged. This gender bloody agency. <laughs> How much do I want this job? I actually want it more than anything in the world. I really do. More than anything in the world. So more than winning the Euro Millions. Oh, what an icon. Why do they all look so depressed? <laughs> Whoever Pete hires, they've just watched it. Pete execute yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh, Next is time, that the end, PA. girl? Yeah. That? Interesting. I've got some thoughts. I need to go home. You need to go home. Well, yeah. this is the weirdest reality TV show, this... I think I can say, that I've seen. So, like, although um, obviously things like The Swan and Butterfly were so interesting and I was very hooked on that kind of stuff, I feel like actually, out of anything you've seen or what well, I've seen you watch, I'm probably the most interested to see what happens next in, in this, this. Because it's just so bizarre. It's weird, isn't it? Like, Pete Burns in a sort of like a sort of abstract concept is weird enough to watch yes, anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Like, I'd watch anything with him in. The idea that he's got this strange Rob person who's like, no, I hate everyone, no, no, but also no. very good. What are you doing, you stupid whore? Like, it's weird to have him on here. I don't even know what this lady is. This lady has just clapped. What I find strange as well is like, the way that they showed us them talking about the people, it made it feel like the ones that they were slagging off and being weird and didn't like are actually the ones they picked. Are the ones that are in, which means so, that they were picking personalities yes, in a show, yeah, not yeah. to be an actual PA. Yeah. So, I'm very excited to see what might yeah. happen next in this show. Let us know in the comments box below if you're also excited. I do find some of the language a bit disturbing, though. It's very of its time. Even for it's 2007, time, it's, yeah. it's still a bit... I would sort of... Have, would I have expected the language to be better for 2007? No, I suppose that is actually quite a long time ago It now. wasn't until like 2010 when things yeah, kind it of must started be. changing. Yeah, 2010. I will agree with that. And even then, even then in the it last- still problematic. The last, Pryroplasty. The last series of Shameless, which was 2013, mm -hmm. they say the T slur in it multiple times. Constantly. I so it's like, and that was 2013. Mm. So, mm. Pussy and wig. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Blinked again. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you standing woman on the go. And now it is time for the Patreons. If you do want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video, Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays, my loves. And I also want to say a massive thank you and a huge welcome to my new Patreons. Charlotte Bowes, Anna Victoria, Luke Peterson, Bridget Diesel, Emma Louise Helen, Exxon1999, Alice W, I Am Not Kamari, Rainbow Jazzy, Sandra, Ali Kate, Kelly Gingell, Danny Mirai, Jennebeth Herman, and Cece. And I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. <laughs> Aloria, Dr. Dreamerella, Luke Peterson, Stephanie Niatupski, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Rachel VC, Biscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sasha Smith, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Stefutech, Travafol, Tromo, Victoria Carella, and Orko Samoji. There's a buggy. A bugwa. A buggy. A, a bugwa. And with that, my loves, I'm going to leave it on the note of don't say things like, I'm just a gay man trapped in a woman's body. Yeah. Not really appropriate. No, now, please, is it? no, no. Death. No.